Hi guys, Mr. Matt here. Uh, I'm going to do an art project about a Christmas car. It could be a Christmas car, a Christmas truck. Basically, this is like an old style car or truck that has a Christmas tree attached to it. Um, in the spirit of the season, it's not unusual to see cars driving around with trees on top of them as people decorate their homes for the holidays. So I'm going to uh, stop this, change views, and show you how I would go about uh, doing this kind of classic old style car with Christmas tree drawing um, with pencil and marker. Okay, so I'm going to start with pencils to a basic sketch of what I want to do here. I'm going to do a uh, Volkswagen Bug with a tree on top. So I'm just looking at an example of it um, that's from the internet. It's in your, your, the Word doc that I sent to your teacher. And I'm just using that as kind of a guide for where everything should be in this. Let's see here, that other wheel. It is up here. It's probably going to be hard for you guys to see the pencil, but I'll go over it with, uh, with marker when I get it kind of figured out here, and you'll be able to see that. So I'm going to stop this. I'll come back with the marker and kind of show it to me going over the pencil with the marker so you can really see it better. Okay, so I've got my uh, Volkswagen Bug with Christmas tree on it all kind of sketched out with pencil. I think I want to make this tree a little bit bigger, so I'm going to... Kind of extend the tip of it a little bit further off the back. There, make it a little bit longer of a tree. There, that's pretty good. All right, so I'm just going to go over everything that I did in pencil with the black Mr. Sketch marker. I'm using these Mr. Sketch markers for this from school. I really like these chisel tip markers. So I'm going to use it so that it makes a fine line and I'm just going to kind of go over everything that I had already drawn in pencil and what this is going to do is create almost like your own kind of coloring page that you can then work on coloring in with good craftsmanship. Um, so it is a nice idea to start out with a pencil because you can't erase this marker. Uh, but it's going to make a nice illustration in the end if you do a nice job um, going over your pencil sketch with the black marker and then once you color it in you can make a nice finished drawing. I love these old classic cars. I have kind of a, a decoration out in the kitchen. It was given to me last Christmas of an old probably like 1930s or 40s style red pickup truck, old style truck. It is a, just a holiday decoration. My mother used to actually have one of these Volkswagen bugs when she was young. So I'm going to stop this and come back when I have all the black lining work done and then talk about uh, applying some color. Okay guys, so I have my uh, Volkswagen bug with Christmas tree on top all lined in with the black sharpie. And now I'm going to apply some color to it. All this was just done by observational drawing, uh, looking at the, the Volkswagen bug example in the Word document that I sent to your teacher that you guys would get. Um, you could even bring up your own online. The Art for Kids Hub truck has a, a video. I included the link in the, the Word doc that you could use also if you wanted to do the truck. But anyway, you have this beautiful line drawing, so you want to uh, kind of keep the craftsmanship going with the with the color application. So this is, I can go almost right over, it looks like I'm going right over the black and it's not bleeding. So I can do that. Things like the windows and the lights, I'm just going to leave white. And it's almost like a Christmas card, has a Christmas card look to it. Just like sometimes really simple illustrations on nice white background are, it's, they're simple but they're really, really effective uh, in getting across the what you want to. 
which is kind of old time Christmas and uh, cartoony fun. Kind of reminds me of Charlie Brown for some reason. I'm not trying to make you seasick, but I turn my paper. It just makes it easier for me to color, apply the color going with the lines. Like if I don't want to go outside the line, I don't, wouldn't want to do it this way. It's better for me to do it this way because I can go with that line. I can actually kind of just use the wide tip to do long lines that fill up space pretty quickly. Okay? So you get the idea here, craftsmanship with the, the black line work and craftsmanship with the color application. So I'm going to stop this, come back when I have it complete and show you the finished product. Okay guys, so I got all the color applied, my nice uh, red Volkswagen bug with the Christmas tree on top. And uh, I think I'm going to put like a little bit of uh, kind of ground lines underneath it. And then I'll sign it. And there you have it. My uh, holiday Volkswagen bug. Classic car with Christmas tree on top. Until we meet again, guys. Hang in there.